Hey pen friends, welcome back to Ginger Peachy Pens. My name is Sarah and today I have an unboxing for you from a new to me company called Just Turnings. Um, not that I haven't heard of Just Turnings, but this is my first pen from the brand. And so I'm super excited to unbox it for you. Um, Just Turnings is in Australia and they make handmade fountain pens and I'm excited to show this to you. So um, full disclosure, I have already opened it and have used it. <laughs> and I'm enjoying it so much. So um, I wanted to make sure I shared it here. So it um, comes in this little black box and such a nice little handmade pen sleeve. So um, yeah, I don't know where he gets these. If someone in, if he makes them, someone in his household makes them, I don't know, but super cute little floral um, sleeve. And the pen is right here. So far, kind of boring looking, but look at this. So this is from the Mimus range, Mimus, Mimus range, um, which I assume is like the pen model. Um, these little bands at the on the cap and the barrel um, are rainbow, so they are colorful and adds just a you know, small little touch of color. Um, he did offer to change them for me to a different color because these just like it, this unscrews off and you can take this ring off, which is pretty neat. I kind of considered, well, actually after he shipped them, I thought I should have asked him to, if I could buy different color rings and a different color grip because here is the surprise. <laughs> the grip section is Brooks, um, Carolina Pen Company, Primary Manipulation 4. So I owned a Primary Manipulation 4 pen and just never was in love with it. Um, but when I saw this, he gave me the option of this grip or another grip. And if I think about it, oh, I think it's Pastel Primary Manipulation. If I think about it, I will show you a picture of the other option that I had. And I went with this one because I just thought that this um, went with the darker rainbow colors on the bands better. But isn't this pretty? So I went outside my comfort zone and got this with a um, an extra fine nib. It is a Yovo nib. I think the gold looks really nice um, with this pen. So um, to the untrained eye, you know, you wouldn't think a whole lot about this pen probably. It is, it does feel very well made. The threads feel very soft, um, very smooth. I mean, um, they are not the, um, smoothest, smoothest, uh, they are not the smoothest threads. Um, if you really held your pen tight, they are a little bit sharp, but I don't think they're terrible. And I'm not saying that well because they're not bad. They're very smooth, you know, to close. Um, but you do feel them. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. There is a small step there from the barrel down to the threads. Um, but the grip section is very comfortable. So this is not a problem for me because I do grip my pen on the grip section. Um, so let's do a little writing sample. my trusty Hippo Noto. And let me bring you down. Here we are. This is kind of a longer pen. Let's think what I can compare it to. Let's compare it to an SD. So it's a similar length overall to the SD, actually slightly longer. Uncapped. Should have done this while the tripod was still higher. Uncapped it is longer than the SD. But the grip section is actually, um, actually a little longer as well. 
It's a little more real estate on the grip section. Um, the pen is not postable, so that's probably good that um, the pen that the barrel itself is a little longer because I do often like to post SDs just to give that a little extra back weight, which I do like. Um, I don't always. I can use an SD unposted very easily and very comfortably, but I I do often post them. So here we go. This is a just turnings. Mimus. I'm saying that incorrectly. Someone can tell me. And it is in white and PM4. This has an extra fine nib. And I inked it with Pilot Iroshizuku Con Pecky. This extra fine nib is super smooth. I don't know if he did any smoothing or tuning or anything before he sent it to me. Um, I didn't really know what to expect because y'all know I'm not usually an extra fine gal, but I wasn't a fine nib gal either <laughs> before, uh, before this year too much. So, um, so I'm happy to be uh, trying this one and that it's a good one. Um, and you guys have seen Konpeki ink before, but I will show you a swatch. Here it is. It's a beautiful, brighter blue. I really, really like it. It's got a little red sheen, which red, which sheen is not my favorite thing, but it's not too much. It doesn't overpower the color of the ink, so um, I can get past it. And uh, yeah, this is super nice. I am extremely happy with this pen. Um, I've already taken it with me a few places and used it. Um, oh, and I was saying I have considered actually even just going back and asking him if I could purchase the other grip section, the primary manipulation pastel, a pastel primary manipulation, um, so that I could have options. But I don't know. I don't know that I need that. Um, I tend to keep a pen together as a package deal. I tend to not switch my nibs around too much unless there's just a problem with a nib. Um, probably it would stay this way even if I had those other options, but who knows? Maybe I'll ask him and just see what he says. So um, yeah, there it is. What do you think? How Do you own any pens from Just Turnings? Um, yeah. Do you have anything from him? What do you think um, of them? Um, is there a model that I should try? Um, I'm really excited to be using this one to get my feet wet with extra fine nibs as well. Um, I don't know. It's just a, a new, um, path for my fountain pen journey, um, uh, which I always think fountain pen journey is just such a funny, like, I don't know. I say it, I say it, but I just think it's a funny thing that we say, um, but anyway, so thank you so much for hanging with me. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.